Sugarcane has experienced a very, very rapid transition. In the 1970s, there was only a small handful of countries that were mechanized. And now, in a period of less than 20 years, Brazil, using Osthoff machines, has gone from less than 10% mechanization to more than 98% mechanization. Comecei a trabalhar com corte de cana em 95. Eu tinha na faixa de, de 13, 14 anos. Muito do corpo, né? 1995, chegou então as primeiras unidades, né? Foi aqui uma uma chegada assim muito esperada e que trouxe assim uma visão diferente de tudo isso que a gente se via. Aí veio também a escolinha da colhedora e hoje é onde eu estou na colhedora. A área de atuação do Desde aqui nessa parte toda. Nós operávamos com 4 mil pessoas. Cortador de cana, eram basicamente 3 mil no grupo. Components come together here at the factory and the assembly line starts here. Five days a week, pretty much the entire year, there'll be a sugarcane harvesters rolling down the assembly line. The 7000 series Ostoff that was developed in Australia in the 1980s revolutionized sugarcane harvesting around the world. And the 8010 harvester we build today includes hundreds of innovations and advancements that add up to much higher productivity. I've traveled basically since 1975. This here is a photograph of the 1,000th 7,000 cane harvester. And this machine was called Tina Turner because she was simply the best. During the 40s, Australia was involved in World War II. So there was a shortage of men and, and the country still needed sugar. It, you can see through these photos, they developed further and further. So that, that sort of introduced the mechanisation that, that we had to make a machine to do the job. And that's what the Toft family did. This is Harold, right? Harold was the engineering brother and Colin was the finance man. We used to burn the cane before it was cut originally. Then we, we uh, designed the machine to cut green cane and it brought a bunch of benefits to uh, the industry. The introduction of the Thousand Systems was a big step forward. And after that, Mel did the uh, 7000. In 1997, we started building the 7000 series in Piracicaba, Brazil, so that we could be close to the largest sugarcane growing region in the world. Then in 2008, we introduced the 8000 series harvester. It really was a big advancement with design changes that made it better suited for the longer harvest season in Brazil. We are seeing a lot of improvements from the last three, five years. More and more focus on electronics and all aspects on the machine performance, but also in efficiency. Então foi todo esse, esse processo, ou seja, de uma máquina mecânica passando para uma máquina hidráulica, eletrohidráulica, eletrônica, e hoje a máquina que a gente tem aí, que já tem a, trabalha com, com piloto automático e acredito que no futuro próximo seja uma máquina autônoma.